Here in Kitzbühel, Austria, just a few days before the Hanningham downhill, joined by veteran ski racer, all around good guy, Marco Buschel of Liechtenstein. How are you, Marco? I'm doing very good. Thank uh -huh. you. Many times for you here in Kitzbühel, many memories. How does it feel to be back in, in the hallowed grounds of Kitzbühel, Austria? Uh, what can I say? It's always a special feeling to be back here. On one hand, it's, uh, it's fascinating because uh, the most difficult downhill of the season is coming up. But on the other hand, uh, I get nervous because the, the, the downhill we have ahead of us takes a lot of uh, guts, a lot of uh, concentration, focus, and uh, it's, uh, I'm torn in between, I have to say. Yeah. Let's uh, skip back to last weekend. Yes. The Laberhorn in Wengen, Switzerland, after many years of superb run, third place on the podium. How special was it for you after all these years? Well, the uh, race in Wengen was very, I have to say, very unique because uh, as I sat down last spring, I noted my goals for this upcoming season and I, I wrote down I want to have one podium and behind that line I put down Wengen. I wanted to be on the podium in Wengen so bad because that's one of the few downhills I've never been on the podium so far, so that was my biggest goal for this season. And finally, achieving that was just so emotional it was so nice I didn't put down any goals for Kitzbühel I won here uh, the Super G I was second in downhill so uh, I didn't put down any goals but in the end if I would make a podium I would be all happy again I think a lot of people were happy to see you succeed there in Bengen and, and, and speaking a little bit about Kitzbühel training run number one today uh, how did the course feel any, any different than in years past and uh, what will it take whether it be you or someone else to win the Huntingham downhill on Saturday? Well, the first impression was uh, it was very smooth and nice to ski it because uh, they did a great job uh, preparing the slope. But come Saturday, I'm sure it will be bumpy and uh, the strife here will show its teeth and uh, show the mean face, that's for sure. Uh, what do you need to win this race? Uh, you need a lot of guts, mm -hmm. as I said mm -hmm. it before. You need the right material, uh, you need a perfect line, and uh, you need to attack 100%. That's what, it, that's what it takes. Yeah, and you have that in you? I don't know. I cannot <laughs> tell you right now. I, the, the thing is that before a race, I cannot tell you how it's going to be. I can tell you when I push out the start, second, third gate, I can tell you what I, what I am capable of doing in that moment. Same thing in Bengen and Lauberhorn race. After second gate, I felt this is my day. But prior to the start, I cannot tell you. Yeah. I know there's business at hand this weekend, but it is difficult not to look ahead a little bit to the Olympics in Vancouver. A couple weeks away now. This will be your sixth Olympics. Is, is yes. that almost hard for you to believe? <laughs> it is very hard yeah. to believe. Six Olympics, is uh, that's a big number. And uh, of course, I'm proud of that number. Very proud. And uh, well, I, I said it many times before, uh, I haven't won a medal so far and this is one thing I would love to achieve but in any way if I leave Vancouver with or without a medal I'll be a happy person anyway. Nice. Uh, when you do retire, you have announced your retirement after World Cup Finals in, in Garmisch, Germany, a couple races left. Uh, what will you miss most about skiing on the World Cup Tour? Obviously lots of travels but many people, friends and racers, what will you specifically miss most, whether it's here in Kitzbühel or in, uh, you know, Beaver Creek? <laughs> well, since I will work for a German TV station afterwards, I will still get to travel, I will still be in the World Cup, I get to see the people, which is nice, but the one thing I'm going to miss the most, and that's the thing why I race in the first place, emotions. You know, either if it's good or bad emotions, if I feel horrible, if I'm disappointed, if I feel really nervous or if I'm happy or, or just satisfied with everything that happens, that's the one thing I'm going to miss the most, that's for sure. Good stuff. Excited to do some TV? You're not, you're not shy around the camera, are you? <laughs> not really. Not at all. No, I'm feeling good around the camera. Hey, Marco, thanks for the interview. Thank you very and, much. Uh, take care of some business this weekend. I will. I will give it my best. <laughs>